What's up, everybody? And as you just saw there, that was my Virgil build in action with a couple examples of the world bosses there whooping their butts with quite a bit of ease. And this has been a long time coming for me to do. I will get back into these Elden Ring builds. So let's start off with the stats, as I usually like to do uh, when you're going to put your, you know, attributes in. This is a level 150 build like I normally do. If you haven't checked out my previous build videos, I keep it at one level 150. This is good for a new game as well as new game plus. But if you want to put some, you know, extra attributes, and it's like that runes and the extra attributes you can't up to you, but I keep it at 150. So vigor I got at 45. Mind is at 38. Endurance I left alone. Uh, just uh, some references here. This is the, I believe, samurai I start off with. Um, so depending on what class you start with, you know, your stats will be different starting stats, but this is a samurai. Uh, strength I left alone at 12. Dexterity only needed to get to 25. And intelligence is at 80 for this particular build because we're using intelligence as our main stat in this build. So let's go into the equipment. I got the moon veal, uh, katana blade maxed out. As you can see, it basically boost off of intelligence mostly with a b and dexterity as well to b so and the transient moonlight that you saw there in action was just incredible to use with it now this is kind of somewhat optional if you want i got the uh king wakizashi dagger with bloodhound step you saw me using there to utilize to sort of dodge around a bit um you don't necessarily have to have it on a dagger you can put it on a different sword if you want a different katana uh but even though i know the first doesn't use a sorcerer staff to sort of get some of his thematic moves off to an extent i got carrying glint blade staff in here max as well plus 25 and this also is very helpful with the intelligence attribute stat just bust with it incredible uh as for clothing armor i got the blue silver male armor and then i decided to put some perceptors gloves for the gloves and then pants kind of do whatever i did some perceptors trousers with that up to you uh, so let's see for the different charms here, talismans, things like that. We got Radagon icon, shorten spell casting time. We got magic scorpion charm, raise attack, magic attack, sorry, but lowers the damage negation. So kind of high risk, high reward type of thing here with this, but really, man, it comes in handy. You use those spells, which we'll get into in a bit. Uh, but yeah, Radagon icon, you're, you're going to be using these spells quite a bit as a showcase here uh to help you out in combat so shortened spell casting time is important and then you got a graven mass talisman barely raises potency of sorceries which is going to be very good to do even more damage with your spells and then lastly shard of alexander greatly boosts the attack power skills you're going to be using uh the tr transient moonlight skill a lot so why not boost it to do even do even more damage huh and then this is up to you on the flask wonders physic if you want to you know add this in there or not but i got the magic shot and crack tier to reboost magic attacks then stone barb crack tier temporary makes stance break easier you can also go with the one that eliminates uh fp usage for about 15 seconds okay now as far as the spells i was using for this build uh terra magic you know very good to boost your spell damage early in a boss fight just use it once at least I began to fight, and then I kind of go right into Magic Glint Blade after that to get some good hits off. So at least two to three of those. And then this is up to you if you want to have uh, Carrion Phalanx in there or not, but there's uh, there's a seven blades there you can use with that. I typically like the Great Blade Phalanx you saw me use there, which is actually going to help with doing more stagger and more damage. And then this is situational, but Carrion Retaliation, use that you know to your discretion if you want. And then uh, founding reigns, founding reigns of stars. I did not use that in the battle, but it can come in handy uh, as, far as far as fitting the theme of Virgil with some of his move sets and what he can do. So this is all I got for this build. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts. And this is after all the updates too, man. This game's got a lot of updates, and this build, in my opinion, is viable still. Very good. You know, high risk, high reward type. You know, so you're gonna be kind of big glass candy. Just be careful. But that's why you have the Bloodhound's Step uh, Ash Ward utilized in this build to kind of move around and dodge a bit when you need to. And just using spells as well to fit the theme. So definitely a fun build to use. And I'm honestly thinking about using it in a um, 
Elden Ring, Reforge, Mod Run, the future randomized. So hopefully do that in the future. But yeah, let me know what you think about this. Drop a like, subscribe if you're new, hit that bell for notifications. So I got more Elden Ring builds. I'm going to be bringing you guys as I get back into making builds for this game. Thank you so much for watching.